What up guys, how y'all doing? Guys, everyone's out here working hard, hustling, and trying to stack that paper. Hell yeah. But you know what's almost even more important than that? Is using that hard earned money to save up, invest wisely, and diversify your long-term financial options. That's why I created this whole new segment for you guys called Freakonomics. Hell yeah, let's talk about some freaks. Wait, what? All right guys, tip numero uno. Simply put, spread the wealth. It is not wise to put all your investments in one sector or one stock. Why don't you create your own virtual mutual fund by investing in a handful of companies that you know, trust, and hey, perhaps even use on a day-to-day -day basis. I cannot stress enough, you gotta invest in what you know. Uh, and that way, you just diversify your options a little bit. Tago, hit him with another hot tip. Brianna from down the block. My boy Peanut says she's a freak in the sheets, man. She does missionary, backward stuff, stuff with the lights on, and she got a nose ring, so I'm low-key afraid of her. Yo, Brianna, you a certified freak. Call me up. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry, everyone. I, I think there was a miscommunication here. Uh, Tago, this segment is about uh, finances and economics. I thought this shit was called Freakonomics. <laughs> no, it is, it is. Uh, and that is a reference to a book that I've read multiple times. Um, I did a lot of research for this, dude. Uh, I mean, I feel like both of us did a lot of research just on slightly different things, so like, we're good to go. Okay, okay, you know what, you know what? Uh, I'll handle it from here, I got it. Let's All do right. it. Okay. Here's another hot tip for your breadheads out there. Why don't you consider adding index funds or fixed income funds to your mix? Investing in securities like these that track various indexes makes such a superb long-term diversification investment to your portfolio and hedges your portfolio against market volatility and uncertainty. And that tip is fresh to death. Can I do one? I truly wish you would not. Let's go. I mean, if you're trying to diversify like long-term stuff, I would suggest hitting up Lisa, who lives in the lower, I think. My boy Peanut says she goes bonkers, man. This girl does missionary, open eyes stuff, kissing, and she works at Goldman Sachs, so you know she's morally reprehensible. Yo, Lisa, you a freak. Yo, hit me up in the DMs. You've, you've ruined this. Um, you've ruined this segment. What? Okay, guys, uh, another hot tip for you. Uh, keep an eye out on uh, all the commission fees you may be accruing. Also keep an eye out for certified freak Shalina Sharma, man. I'm telling That's you. That's my sister. Yo, word on the street is that Shalina is a fine ass Indian honey who gets buck nasty in the sheets. My boy Peanut dated her for like a minute and said she does missionary, Indian missionary, sex in the shower, and she makes the dopest sog paneer. So you know she's mad whitey material, dog. Shalina, hit me up, girl. You know where to find me. Hell yeah. I'm so sorry, sister. Yo, this has been a great episode of Freakonomics. I'll catch y'all next week. We gotta cut Peanut out of our lives.